Hello there YouTube land. I am back. I am back here once more doing a review for you consumers, you know, and this is my consumer review for this little bad boy. This is the Levi Power. Um I've had this for quote one, two, now when did it arrive? About a month, about a month I've had it for, you know, three weeks a month. Uh, feel awesome talking about it. Um, what it is, it is an 80 watt device with temperature control in many different varieties. Um, you get six TC modes with it, six. Uh, you get M1, M2, M3, <clears throat> stainless steel, titanium, nickel, regular power mode. Uh, watts and you get smart mode for lazy fuckers like me um, Smart mode allows you to take any tank I will take TFE4 say you've got TFE4 at 80 watts with the 0.2 ohm coil heads in them You screw it on pull it into smart mode turn it all the way up to 80 watts. That's it simple as or you they I just two tank at 0.3 ohms. Say you've hit this at 60 watts. You screw on the I just two tank in smart mode. Turn it up to 60 watts, and it will rem remember that then that you vape this tank at 60 watts. And you can do this for 10 atomizer setups, or if you're really accurate at building your RDAs. Well, I'm quite good at it. I reasonably it within like 0.2, 0.3. 0 0.03 ohms ish I'm reasonably accurate in building now it will remember uh, your RDA builds and it will remember your tanks that's what smart mode is it is you know if you can't be asked going uh, like that and adjusting shit all the time that's what smart mode does it lets you be a bit idle and a bit lazy you know you just leave it in smart mode and let it do its thing overall I've been really impressed with that. It, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a helping hand, you know. It's it's easily um, changing the game a bit and evolving, which is good to see. I went for the wooden one because look at I me mean, when you look at the finish on it. Shiny, shiny. Mm. It looks like real wood from well, from that sort of distance. It looks like a wooden mod. That's why I picked it because I hadn't got anything in this style. Um. USB port on the bottom, um, a one amp charge or I think a two amp charge, one to two amp. Obviously, if it's two amps, it's only going to take an hour and a half. Uh, sorry, two and a half hours to charge. If it's a one amp, it's going to take five hours to charge. Because the way you think about it is, it's got a five thousand milliamp hour built-in power pack. Um, it lasts for ages. I mean. Vaping it flat out, you'll get a day out of that easy at 80, 80 watts. <coughs> and I've got the um, Zephyr Buddha on it. I love this thing, it's fucking amazing RDA. It is just, you know, bum diggity. It's got some massive, massive, crazy ass coils in it as well at the moment. Um, yeah, so and it's 0.75 ohms. <coughs> Vaping the rest of me strawberry milkshake, and I fucking hate it because it tickles me for it because it had like a dry, creamy taste to it. Um, yeah, it fires literally I've kind of been using my TFV8 on it as well at 80 watts, TFV8 in TC mode as well. Yeah, you know, it is really, really good. Uh, the button clicks are feel a little, a little bit squidgy, probably, but in a good kind of way. Um, it's got a middle button between your up and down buttons for mode, for mode switching, rather than the normal click system. It's got a button down here in the center that you press to change them. You know. That's quite a good idea. Sometimes you can click that rather than adjusting it though, but minor, minor, you know, 
personal con you know I don't think it it might be to some people but it's not to me it looks really really great um, it looks more expensive than what it is considering it's only 40 50 quid from most shops here in the UK but I mean as no tool vaping this beast of a an RDA I mean this is a 28 mil wide RDA and it handles it no problem we're not even trying to mean down to half battery now as well and it's still producing a load of vapor um, it is roughly I'm going to say it's about 23 and a half millimeters across because it uh, a 22 mil tank sits just on the inside of the edge so it's about 23 23 and a half mil wide for your atomizers so <coughs> that's really good it has got a spring loaded 510 as well the weird thing about it is that it's not got the ability to get air from the thing the cutout but I think this is why a bit of a wipe the theory behind these 510s on e-leaf on e-leaf mods floating and um, when you screw stuff down you notice like there's a little bit of a gap maybe half a millimeter quarter of a millimeter I think there's two reasons why that is and a lot of people said oh well hang on it's not the RDAs don't sit flush in it tanks don't sit flush in it this is the reason why is to stop this from getting scratched so the longevity of the mod it lasts a bit a bit longer it looks a bit class for a bit longer and anything that gets 510 from the bottom is able to do that because it's got the little tiny you can see them there the cutouts on the actual stainless steel bit but the stainless steel bit is slightly raised above it I mean you won't see that but it's actually slightly raised above it so it can get air can travel in and get to atomizers that take air from the 510 connection so that's why some times your RDA or your tank won't sit flush on a relief leaf product that is why there you go just explain that for you um, I love this thing it's great So the last mod I had was the Smock M80. It was 80 watts and that did temperature control really, really shit. It just didn't do it at all. Um, so in terms of an evolution, 80 watt mods have come on in leaps and bounds. I mean, it's the same milliamp power. Well, no, it's not. Is it? What was it? M80 was 4,400 milliamp power. This is 5,000 milliamp power with a built-in LiPo pack. So obviously... It doesn't have reverse battery protection, it have short circuit protection and all the other protections that's built in. Temp, temp protection is well built into it. Vips 80 watts, absolutely no problem at all. It looks absolutely fantastic with lots of different things on it as well. Because it's got that nice class wood finish to it with green, right now I'd say that's green, greeny kind of blue Ely sort of writing on it very easy to redisplay as well quite easy to see in strong sunlight as well so yeah <coughs> it is definitely worth 50 quid i've not had any problems issues with it or nothing like that i'm really enjoying using it um hopefully they might do an upgrade for it that might take it up to 100 watts if they do they do if they don't they don't it's not the end of the world because it's great as it is so there, yeah, that's my personal take on the um, E-Leaf iPower ET1. Hope you enjoy this review. You know, comment, like, subscribe, slag me off, etc. But remember, keep on vaping. Goodbye.